Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> it's Trina there. Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her. Somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give a fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. I told you he has some shit. <laughs> Motherfucking gun, Phil. If, 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 the, if a motherfucking gun fall while you running, how everybody know you pulled out a gun? Hmm. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello there. It's real conversations going on right now. On Can I say that one more time? Say it one more time. Ask the question. If a gun fall while you running, After some how everybody know you pulled out a gun? If a gun falls out, is that the same as pulling a gun out? Cause it was people say, motherfucker pulled a gun. Huh. I'm just saying. You're saying what? I done what seen niggas heard. run and they gun drop. Yeah. And everybody don't see that. Cause a nigga, when your gun drop, motherfucker stop. They always look for it. <laughs> and then they pick that shit up. I was on sale. I was I was on stage in Chicago. This comic. Name Uncle Rail. This nigga on stage, his gun dropped. Oh my god. He look, this is this is a natural reaction when your gun drops. Uh oh. What? <laughs> they ever seeing that? Like they are they seeing that? <laughs> when your gun drop, you naturally look like who saw that? Right. Mm. So <laughs> dropping a gun while you running after someone and is pulling a gun is two different things. It's two different things. And if it was really broke down. A motherfucker who said he dropped the gun, it's easy to find out if they lying or not. That's right. Mm. I'm just saying. Because usually when you pull a gun, there's intent behind pulling it. Well, a lot of times when people pull guns, it's just to show people, I got a gun. <laughs> That's a bad move right there. Well, what the problem is, what's the face the of I got a gun? One, right. the, wait, wait, let me tell you something. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't anybody got a gun? Oh, well, D, you got a gun? Yeah, but I won't, I can't pull it out on me. Like, I you, don't have you got it in my a pants. Gun, if you don't, you need to get one. Yeah. Because it's some emotional. Not only that, it's men some out shit here going down. that will pull a gun on you for all kind of reasons to mm. show you they got a gun. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Bobby, you got a gun? D. No. You ain't got one no more, I Bobby? I'm so surprised, no more, yeah. really. Yeah. Okay. See, Bobby was in the Army, so I know he right. used to have one, and he know, probably know how to handle one. Enough to know that you don't play with them. You don't okay. play with them. I was always told, don't pull them out unless you're going to use them. Mm-hmm. I've seen it happen. How about that? I was always told, that's the rule. But see, that's not what's happening. See, in this world, there is marginal talent, marginal people. Mm. Those are the motherfuckers that you got to be scared of. Because they always want to be on the level of up here. But the truth is, they really on the level down here. So they will get a gun and try to show you I'm tough. The great equalizer. And chase people with it. <laughs> and Bobby, could you ever chase a man with a gun? Never, man. Never. When I get a gun... My gun is to shoot, or maybe there might be a situation where I might have to ump it just because I'm it, I, I'm outnumbered, mm. you know what I'm saying? Or it's something like that. Right. But I'm never finna wait on somebody all day at a club <laughs> to show them, hey, look, <laughs> hey, come here. I'm never going to do that. I can't. Oh, so man. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm just saying. I can't. Mm. I'm jumping the shit off. <laughs> I might get a gun pulled on me in Atlanta. Mm. But I promise you I got something for all that. <laughs> I got something for all that. And once I turn it on, I can't stop it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, man. <laughs>
<laughs> now we gonna talk about Cat Williams and everything that happened in Atlanta because we can't act like it didn't happen. Right. This is major black event. Mm. Do you know what happened, Bobby? No, I, I hear Bobby it. missed it. Oh. And this is some interesting shit. You need to hear it because mm. I'm all ears. Um, it's a delicate situation because obviously we dealing with sensitive people. Because a gun was pulled, a gun was, a gun was allegedly dropped while somebody was running with that bullshit. But a gun was there. Mm -hmm. To bring you to the original over story, we'll tell you. Two we'll comedians signifying. On an interview promoting for a show. So it was Cat Williams, Red Grant, our homie. Yeah, I know Red. And okay, well he they were both at what's the name of the show? V one oh three in Atlanta. Thank you. And Morning show. The and shit that nobody really want to go to. And the mm. woman's name, the host, the radio host that got into it with him was Wanda Smith. Let me let me let me make sure I clear what I said. I love V103 in Atlanta. V103 is one of the major vehicles when you go to Atlanta if you're trying to sell your shows out. Mm -hmm. You go to V103. Mm -hmm. It's a whole bunch of good people work up there. And when you go there, you see all kinds of people. You be like, hey. But unfortunately, the morning show has been cuffed and held down by insecure, hateful people. Not the brother on the show, but I'm just bold enough to say it. It's a comedian named Wanda Smith. Mm. And whenever I go to Atlanta, I already know the interview probably going to get canceled because <laughs> marginal talent always causes bullshit. I learned that from uh, the coach at Alabama. Mm. What's his uh, name? Uh, uh, Saban. Saban said, Nick I don't Saban. like to recruit marginal talent because they get mad at the other players <laughs> that really... Are the real deal Those are the ones The five stars The blue chippers mm, I get it So I when you go to V103 morning show Especially a brother like me You know how I am mm -hmm. How I do my jokes And everything If your interview Don't get cancelled Cause somehow It always get cancelled After these promoters Then paid their money uh, The interview at V103 Always get cancelled For me And I know it happens For a lot of other comedians Because there is Marginal talent as one of the comedians in the room. Mm. And I said that and I stand on it. Mm. And if I get a gun pulled on me, okay, well, that's how we going to do that. <laughs> so anyway, Bobby, they went in there for an interview to promote anybody. the show for the next night. They went in on Friday morning. They right? were on the same show together? No, Kat and Grant went in to promote their show. They were going to have a show on Saturday night there. And they went into that radio station on Friday morning. And that's what happened between the... Two co-hosts, but the brother was not really saying anything. He was just trying to do a general. His interview. name is Frank. Frank was trying to do Frank a general. Is a, Frank is a, a good radio yeah. host. Mm. He sit back, Stick he kick protocol, it with the comics right. or whatever. Mm. He laugh with you because he know this is business. We right. are here to promote a show. Right. And the woman by the name of Wanda Smith, who don't the get one shows, they say is a comedian. <laughs> And that's the one that got into it. Somebody say I look Kat. like Frankie Beverly. They say you fresh out of heaven, Joy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad right. at you, Tupac video. All right. All right. So anyway, so there we go. And then that happened. So then they started. <laughs> to me, in a sense, I don't know. What was your take that that she actually kind of No, this is what happens. This is what happens. She's got that spirit about her where she snipe heckle you. She'll say something. Mm -hmm. We have that first picture. And because it's a woman... Most of the time, people are either caught off guard and don't know how to come at her. Mm. But Cat Williams oh, he was is so built for this oh shit. Let me tell you God. something, man. We used to do wilding out. There you go. We used to do wilding out. And I used to be amazed at how, like, oh. when they do the freestyle battle, mm -hmm. Cat just be sitting back waiting. <laughs> Chilling. He can keep Waiting on his turn. Oh. Waiting on somebody to get him. He always got a killer for the end. Oh. I be like, man, motherfucker don't want to fuck with Cat. Motherfucker don't want to fuck with Cat. But look, this woman tried the wrong motherfucker. Right. And it's like this, Bobby. You didn't see it. I'm glad you didn't see it because I want to tell yes. you something. He went in. When Cat finally roasted her after oh. she kept sniping a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> them, 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 them. 
he was he was elegant with oh. his destruction yep. <laughs> of this woman <laughs> who really didn't have nothing to say. Mm. She said, "Yo, clothes, oh." He was like, he pulled out the he tag. Didn't, he, it didn't, was, he didn't even, but it, the way he does stuff is so fly. <laughs> <laughs> that is he had a Versace suit. So he he talking about he got. A, you probably don't even know Versace. Night, yeah, I heard yeah. of it. You heard of Versace? Mm-hmm. I'm shocked. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's just go, go, go. Bobby said that's fine to go over here about it. Take that tag out. It came from the same. She was uh, trying to talk shop. about his hair. She started the shit, but she picked the wrong, wrong one. Because the you. stuff he said about her oh will go down in, in, in radio infinity as one of the best hard. roasts. Yes, no. For he real. talked about her goods because you see, she, you see, she a big girl. Mm. She was telling him, "Calm down, calm down," and he was <laughs> like. What did he say? He, he said, said, if you can't bring your blood pressure down on the radio, what did he say? Something like that. He said, if you can't bring your blood pressure down, you know you're not going to get me down. <laughs> <laughs> he had so many quick ones. He had a lot of zingers. <laughs> he was talking about it. He said, I know you're big on radio. Cause you know, she's a big girl. He was just um, coming with the ones that make you go. Oh. Even our co-host was so laughing. Was laughing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you know, they, he the got to be in there with her. <laughs> so it's yeah. all. But even yeah, he was yeah. in there like, uh oh, yeah. yeah. Let's go to break. <laughs> <laughs> he kept trying to go to break, but yeah. Wanda wouldn't be quiet. No. She was trying all that, you know that you know that black woman. Uh, 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 no he, jokes though. He was so suave about it. It was ridiculous. Taking sips of his <clears> coffee. No. I I have yet he, marginal he, talent. He's a master at that, though, man. I see that look on his face, like when you get through. <laughs> <laughs> that, that look says it all, right that there. That look yeah, right yeah. there. That look yeah. says it all. He it was a classic <laughs> roast, and he didn't call her bitch. No, didn't say none of that. Didn't he? Didn't get... talk to her in a way that make you be like, ooh, cat, ooh. He just got her, mm-hmm. and after that. It blew up on the internet. Well, can we say that not only did that situation blow up, but people were taking what he said in the interview as well. So not just the... He said those, some other things because yeah, he had yeah. ain't never held back. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And people were taking what he said and putting it out there like, uh-oh, he said this about Tiffany Haddish. He said this about Lil Rel. He, blah, blah. So they, yeah. they gravitated towards that stuff and pulled it out. Well, that th- this was this past weekend. Now, mind you, the Emmys were yesterday. Congrats. That's why he was in town. Thank I bet that's why and, he was in town. And congrats, by the way, because um, one of the people that people made a big deal about that he had spoke on was Tiffany Haddish. Well, they, the both of them took a picture together. He went, I guess you could say it was an apology. He, you know, he was bowing her. down in front of her. Because he said her. something about her. We have that picture right. too, Frank, right? He said something about Tiffany, um, um, about other comedians had, um, had been oh, passed up. For Tiffany mm-hmm. And That's one of the things I disagree with Kat About Because Where's her hairline uh, Where's her hairline It's just shiny you just It's can't just shiny the shadow, right there yeah. Tiffany ain't got a hairline problem yeah, Ain't nothing wrong with know. Tiffany I'll, I'll tell you man I'm t- When him. Tiffany One day Tiffany got into it With this girl And this girl is one of her friends And I told Tiffany I said Tiffany You gonna make it Because you cute that's what I told her. I was like, a lot of these women ain't young, cute women. Tiffany is. Look at her. You can. Have, you can. If, if I got a movie, I don't mm-hmm. mind Tiffany Haddish being on the billboard. Hell no. Nah. But some of these girls, makeup can't save you. Eventually. And and and, 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 and some of the girls We're gonna see you. who can't get real love for. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying. I'm going to tell you something. He mentioned um, the sister Melanie Camacho. Now, I have nothing against Melanie Camacho, Mm -hmm. but I do want to say this. When I first started, I thought Melanie Camacho was super dope. She funny. Mm -hmm. Because she does does stuff about men. And you know, I do stuff about women. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, hey, Melanie, uh, what's up? Let's do this show together. Because the improv people was just starting to fuck with me. Mm -hmm. So I set it up and woo, woo, woo. The day of the show, Melody was a no call, no show. Uh oh. I called her. I was like, "Where you at?" She said, "It's raining outside." Oh, I can't. You know what? Stop. Wow. I was like, "What? Mm. <laughs> it's California rain. It wasn't even no real rain. Nigga, it's moist outside." Mm. I 
was like, I can't. I didn't even know, but I wasn't trying to do this. But the, you know, the improv motherfuckers was like, "Well, where's she at?" Right. I was like, she said his brain. Because I didn't know what to say. <laughs> And oh, <laughs> I'm just saying, it's like I love we all shoot ourselves in the foot in one way or another. But some of these comedians have shot themselves in the foot being divas. Mm. Being Shotgun. divas. I think he mentioned Miss Laura, and I do want to go out my way to say that Miss Laura never acts like a diva. If you know Miss Laura, Miss Laura is always a pro. Yeah, she's approachable. She good people. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen Miss Laura. Acting funny with nobody or nothing mm -hmm. like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, but I'm just saying it's like in this business when you get a break, even if you feel a certain kind of way about the person who got the break, you can't really hate as a comedian, or maybe that's not the word I want to use. You can't say nothing about it because you sound like a hater. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you say something about the inside information you know about somebody, you know what I'm saying? Right. It makes it look like you are the bitter motherfucker. Right. So, I, I I wish all motherfuckers who getting it in this business, I congratulate you. Right. Yeah. Every motherfucker except G thing joke still in there. Uh oh. That's the only motherfucker I be like. <laughs> That ass kissing finally moves you up a little <laughs> further, huh? <laughs> Your ass kissing ass nigga. Oh, but, boy. okay, fuck it. It is what it is. Because the nigga was doing my jokes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he ain't he ain't as quick to do my jokes now because I got it's a little more there. fame yeah, about yeah, me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. People know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But back when it was the, the come up, hmm. that motherfucker used to do everybody joke. I remember that nigga was doing Rod Man a comedian from Atlanta. He was doing Rodman yeah, yeah. whole act. <laughs> and I saw him and Rodman hanging out. I was like, I don't know. I couldn't help it. I was yeah. like, this nigga be doing your whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Rodman was quiet. Uh, and that other nigga, bitch ass G thing, was looking at me. I was like, I couldn't help it. Yeah. I was like, I had to say it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. Wow. But Ooh. somebody say I'm a boys to me and action. Fuck mm. y'all niggas. Mm. But anyway, so yeah, it's been a long weekend with that whole fiasco, I guess you can say in it. But 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 down to the part where you were confused when they were talking about guns. So yeah. apparently the next night at that show, her that woman Wanda Sykes, the radio host slash comedian that went in with Kat. Uh, Wanda Smith. Her, her right, Wanda okay. Smith. Her husband and even her sons were there, but her husband they claim showed up with a gun to confront Cat. So that's what we you missed. Ain't that something? Look at look at look at look at look at Bobby's face. I mean, it's like it's every week somebody gets in a mess that should have stayed out of it. This okay. nigga our age. Uh oh. He know. He, oh. <laughs> this ain't no young nigga, Bobby. Didn't shoot nobody, but wanted everybody Could've to know. Could have got shot. Could have got shot. Could have got shot. Let me tell you shot, something, really. man. I got a feeling Cat ain't going to press charges or nothing. Well, I don't know what he's going to do. I think that's what's but happening, yeah. Cat. Cat ain't no motherfucker you be pulling no gun out on. No. Well, it gets it gets pretty heavy. It gets pretty I mean, deep. I mean, it involves his. Niggas got guns. It involves yeah. his body. And niggas ain't anything. showing him emotionally. Yeah. Niggas right. ain't. Hey, look at this. You so, see this? So, so where the running come into it? He chased him. Chase cat. Chase, well, cat ran away. When you see somebody coming at you, he did what he was supposed to do. Got out of the way. Yeah, yeah, the fuck yeah. away from that. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. got a gun. <laughs> and he ambushed you with it. Right. It ain't right. like some motherfucker walked up on you and be like, "Look, nigga, I got a gun." The only reason basically he shared with me that he didn't go to the next level. Cat has matured enough to know he got too much to lose. Well, now the most current information is bullet. that the husband has given now a so-called his official interview with. Um, in Atlanta Station, Channel 2. He just gave one earlier today. They're calling him, the, of course, the man at the center of the incident. Says he claims he did not point a gun at the comedian over the weekend. Didn't get a chance. His I name is Lamora. <laughs> his name is Lamora Sellers. He's the yeah. husband of uh, Wanda Smith. Mm -hmm. um, he said that um, that Williams claims Seller pointed a gun at his face uh, during a confrontation outside the Atlanta Comedy Theater in Norcross. It said, according to a police report that was taken, the incident between Sellers and Williams stemmed from an, that interview that Williams, uh, after the radio show that happened, uh, that the, the husband did show up. See, now here's the thing. You were still there. It happened. It says, according to the police, that when he ran after um, Cat, that Cat went into, that he yelled back. 
He said this man is claiming that Cat turned it up notches. What does that mean? So you still there for that reason though, right? It says Sellers, who was 370 pounds and six feet two. I, I, I met Wanda husband. He a big nigga, but shit, you come on now. Said every witnesses say that he started <laughs> going towards he started <laughs> moving harder. towards Williams, and at that point Williams ran to the food depot. According to Sellers, now this is her husband, that his gun fell out of his waistband when he was tussling with Williams' bodyguard. Sellers, that's the husband, said he picked the gun up and resumed chasing Williams. Okay, well, you picked the gun up and was still running after him. Once inside the food depot, they said Sellers said he decided to back off. He said, I wasn't trying to cause a commotion. I proceeded to walk past the bodyguard. I apologize. Nothing personal against you, he said to the bodyguard. He doesn't pay you enough to do this job. I could tell from his expression, this is the husband saying, and his demeanor. So that he was talking to the bodyguard? The bodyguard didn't do what the fuck he posted? I do? guess this guy backed off and was about to run out. And he said he didn't want no part of what Cat was, was doing. Sellers said he has carried a gun with him for over 10 years and sometimes even forgets he has it. He did not have his gun in a holster that night. Everybody's scared to say something. I ain't trying to kick up no dust. But I just don't like bullshit. Like, look, let me tell you something. This is what this motherfucker wrote on Twitter. Black no fade. This is got this is the internet at Black No Fade. Things happen when you let your wife believe she can run the men in the streets like she run the men at home. Ooh, that sums it all up pretty much. Ain't that what it is? Yeah. That's all that is. Mm. Cemetery literally so a loser kind of situation. You could have so lost, lost a bunch of lives over mm. something like that. You lost your whole family. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. And lost others, your whole so. motherfucking family doing that sucker shit. But mm -hmm. hey, maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a motherfucker who need to shut the fuck up for somebody run up on me. Cause I sure hope don't nobody run up on me. I'm just a civilian. <laughs> I don't want no trouble. I'm, just a <laughs> I'm scared. Uh, so scared anyway, so death. that's that situation, uh, Bobby. And but moving mm. on, if we can, did you want to just go into other things? Well, I I just wanted to say this, yes. man, to everybody out there. First of all, the whole V103 morning show in Atlanta. I'm here to tell you, man, that 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 that's a black hole. That's a black hole for entertainers that aren't her cup of tea mm. because the whole phoniness in the room. The whole canceling of interviews and all that shit. We know where that shit come from. So I hope that something is done where if a person comes to um if a if a person comes to Atlanta to promote and has an interview on V one oh three, like I have to be like, Well, I'd rather go on the afternoon show mm -hmm. or something like that. But the morning show, that's where the bread and butter is. Right, yeah. And you have to go through this marginal talent. That has hate in her heart. Mm. You can ask the comedians yeah, in Atlanta who was oh, posting all kind of stuff mm. about knowing how it really go. Mm. It's like I don't even want to go up there. I don't want no drama because mm. this is what comes when you deal with marginal talent. If you mm. ask me, mm. so I'm just putting that out there. I hope something is done where if if a person got to work in Atlanta, they don't have to deal with that. Mm. Right. And if we do got to deal with it. I'll be doing comedy probably longer than she'll be having that job because them radio jobs shuffle out right. after a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I give her credit. She's been on there way longer than I ever thought. <laughs> oh, how long? I mean, I, She's been on there a long time. Frank has left and came back. But, mm -hmm. but he was the original host of that show. Yeah. Okay, by the way. Frank's morning show. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she was the personality on there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying, man, it's like. There's other radio stations in Atlanta. We did the Fox Theater. We sold it out and did another show. So mm. it ain't stopping nothing. Right. But why do you have to go through that? Why do we have to deal with somebody who yeah, that was wants you yeah. to just take they, take they shit? And if you talk about it, you get a gun pulled on you by somebody who act like they drop guns. <laughs> mm. Come on now. Ooh. Right, Come on now. Mm. Yeah. You really fucking serious? Mm. Get the fuck out of here, man. Mm. Well, just this discussion should draw enough attention to it that the people at the radio station who know that they generate revenue from having uh, artists come on their show, the money might, you know, lead to her being, you know, muzzled a little bit, at least not allowed to do the kind of thing that will lead to a situation well, like that. She ain't got to get fired. But I I'm just saying, fired, it's just like... Check her. Right, exactly, Bobby. Well, can, That's can what I'm saying. It's like... Too? There's a lot of entertainers that I bet if they spoke their mind, they'll be mm -hmm. like, 
they don't want to deal with it with with with, with that because i Look, I don't have to smile with you. When I come to Atlanta and do the radio show, that's when I see you. Mm. And it should be professional enough where, that's okay, they here to promote say. the show. Right. Let's motherfucking hype yeah. this up. But hate and lack of talent happens a lot at radio stations around the country. And mm. Atlanta, V103 Morning Show right. is one of them. Mm. And, and can I say that had that, I believe, had that happened... In the reverse, if it was a male comedian in her position and a fem- or, or vice versa, if that had happened to a woman by a man, he would have got reprimanded. He would have probably been fired, especially probably if that. he. First of all, if a, if 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 a if a male comedian make a female look bad, just that alone, mm. they act like. I mean, he was. Oh, he don't like women. <laughs> then, if his wife get after the other girl oh. with a gun. That nigga ain't got no job on Monday morning. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That nigga ain't got no job on Monday morning. Really, or if his yeah. wife drop a gun. I'm sorry. <laughs> if his wife drop a gun while she chasing yeah. the person. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? We dropping guns out here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. We'll see. But I'm a little worried about. Um, she, she, I, I, heard, I heard on her morning show on Monday she had a whole bunch of, of her people who are on her side called up there and all that. Because you know you screen calls. <laughs> You don't let the people who got something to say that's not on your side get through. So it's just I'm a little worried. Like, I'm a little worried about a uh, uh, Cat Williams security situation though, man. Because when that boy dropped that gun and he got a security guard I mean, this with is him, still all stuff that we're reading. Yeah. From people, we don't. What's up with that? The horse's mouth, so we don't. It's know. a tough job, but there comes a time when you got to do your job, though. I hope Cat didn't pay him. <laughs> if you talking to the man that's getting right, at your right, client, right? That's a problem, that, man. You know, that's a big problem. Cause that's a pretty <laughs> cool gig if something go down. Security. People ask me why I don't have security. It's like, I, man, I'm I'm just saying, I ain't. No, you need security. I probably do need security, but I'm here to tell you, mm. I make a phone call. It's gonna fix everything. <laughs> I'm just saying. So if you get me before I make the phone call, <laughs> it's then it. they'll sort it out and figure right, it out. Right, 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 right. I got something for that. I'm just saying. So, I, I, hey. first of all, I'm, I, I, okay, I'm older now. You, when I was a young nigga, I used to you be like, you ain't going to whoop me, nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't going to whoop me, do? nigga. <laughs> right. But I'm older now. Maybe mm. I can get it. Because mm. I see, I see my man taking L. What's the nigga be out here selling the incense? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, my yeah! Hey, yeah. you know he was a Black Panther. Yeah, all that. He showed him young pictures when he used to be yeah. swole yeah. and yeah. he in the box and yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. But he fought a young nigga one day, Uh-oh. and it ain't go well. <laughs> <laughs> Them old uppercuts was too oh, small. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when we get old, oh, you can't boy. be saying you can't oh. whip my head though, because oh, yeah. you don't know. A old uppercut, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Them up old down. uppercuts, even if when they connect, people still be to hit you with four more. That's you just right. got your one. Uh, oh my uh, god! Uh, 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 uh. Oh. <laughs> it's stupid. That's true. Anyway, well, shall anyway. we move on? Yeah, yeah, we While can move on, it? man. Yeah. I, 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 I know. I was fired up about it because I just felt like nothing happened that warranted somebody. Approaching somebody with oh, a gun. Oh, definitely not. I mean, yeah. you can say what you want to say, but them comics in Atlanta, they put it out there. We mm. already know what happened. Mm. All right. Well, this is a perfect segue because, as you know, the Emmy Awards uh, were held here yesterday, Monday the 17th, here in Los Angeles. And several folks that we want to congratulate. First off, of course, being Cat Williams. Oh, he received an Emmy for Best Comedy Series Guest Role for his character, Uncle Willie, in the series Atlanta. He beat out Danny Glover and several other great actors. Also, congrats to Tiffany Haddish for her Emmy win for Outstanding Guest Actress in a Comedy Series for hosting the Saturday Night Live episode she did. Also, uh, congratulations to actresses (coughs) Regina King, one of our local uh, favorites. I love Regina. She's a sweetheart. She won for her lead uh, role in Seven Seconds. That's on Netflix. Um, also, um, uh, Michael Chi, is that how you pronounce his last name? Right? Michael Chi, the guy that used to be on, uh, or is on, um, Saturday Night Live. Anyway, Michael Chi, uh, hosted it. Oh, 
Ronnie's at the gate. I know. I, I just, just saw it. I okay, good. That just dropped down on my thing, too. Shout out, though, to Michael Chi, who co-hosted the awards and did a great job. This my favorite. I didn't watch the whole show. It's too long. I did catch the little tidbits. And one of the actual uh, little bits that they did, that they produced, it was a sketch called Reparation Emmys. It went to the black actor, right? He said, uh, it was pretty funny. Anyway, what they did was they gave Emmys away to actors that were overlooked in the past. Michael said, as a black comedian, this is how we started the bit off, is just letting you know in case you want to look it up and not watch the whole show. Um, he said, for so many years, our TV legends and heroes have gone unrecognized. So this year, as a host, I took it upon myself to finally right one of those wrongs. I present the Reparation Emmys. In the bit he gives, was so freaking funny, Marla Gibbs, for playing her role as Florence, in, in, right? <laughs> the housekeeper on the Jeffersons, he gave one to Jimmy Walker. He gave one to Kadeem Hardison. Uh... Uh, Dwayne, what's his name? Wayne from a um, different, world. different world. John Witherspoon and also Urkel and Tachina Arnold. It was pretty damn funny. My favorite highlight, if you have that picture, Frank, was um, Jennifer Lewis, who, if you know her from Blackish, who one of my favorite books that I listened to this year. Jennifer Lewis showed up on the red carpet wearing all Nike, big Nike sweatshirt. Yeah, they was. Um, she represented. They was um, showing Jennifer Lewis. As she gave Kaepernick's big ups on the red carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's an all night gear, right? Oh, I yeah. love it. She's, yeah, she's, yeah. oh. Well she's deserved, though. She's well hilarious. deserved uh, Emmy wins for everybody all the way around. All the way around. When I did that movie, um, 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 The Wedding Ringer, I worked with Miss um, Lewis. Mm hmm. Uh, I think if I'd have tried hard, I could have smashed. Oh, I think so. I don't know for sure. And but I, you know I didn't try that hard. No, 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 you don't. I was going to agree with Bobby. I loved her book because she was so sexual. And, oh, yeah, that woman is no. She's a man in a woman's body, oh, man. Yes. She's a man in a woman's body? Well, in terms of her I'm mentality. Talking, in terms of her mentality as far as she sex. Go out so I should have wore rubber if I got it. You know what? Yeah, that would have been a good Maybe. idea. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, her book was excellent. Shout out to Jennifer Lewis. She was great. <laughs> Ronnie, you by yourself? Yeah, Tyler with the day. Come on over here, oh, man. man. Ronnie Jordan from Yay. Atlanta in the house after yeah. the Atlanta story is over. No, no sit right there. Right here. We got to, I guess if you move over a little bit, huh? So I don't want you to try to go up under that you table. You know what? Ronnie Stop. Got it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Get used to it. Let Ronnie sit on down. This is Bobby. All right. Did you meet Zola last time, Ronnie? <laughs> Did you meet Zola? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Speak, speaking of the slugger, I want to say this. Uh, what are the things? You can come over a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. I think so. Is the camera set up right now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Where that thing at? It's in that bag. Hey, oh. Frank, pass me that bag over there by the door. It's right by the light. It's that Stone Island bag. That Stone Island bag. I want to I had get to explain to Corey what was in it and why I saved it. I, I asked, <laughs> should I throw this away? I don't Just know where I Just pass me the bag. <laughs> Just pass it, please. I want to put this out here, goddammit. We sell t-shirts and a whole bunch of shit Sometimes at the 5150 show. But we are trying to raffle off. We raffle it off? No. Yeah. We're going to yep. sell it to the highest bidder. The highest bidder. This is the bottle of Tangeray that Aries was drinking out of no when Zoe beat his ass <laughs> that no night. Lie. It still has all his fingerprints on still it. Still got his fingerprints. A little bit left. <laughs> left the, the, what was left. No This lie. is the bottle of Tangeray that uh, Aries spoke up on her ass whooping with. <laughs> <laughs> Let the bidding start at $10. Oh, boy. That's cool. <laughs> it's like my too. That's <laughs> right. That's, well, the man, that's, the man. that's only because I pulled it away. We were like, oh, my he God. He would have gulped it. It was full when you gave it to Oh, him? it was brand new. It wasn't open. The only reason he ain't oh, drink it, only reason he ain't drink now. the last of it is elbowitis kicked in. <laughs> 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 it makes sense now, bro. Look at Zoe getting quiet. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> She no. in like the 90s? What? Oh my god. This is left. I got 200 for the bottle. Go up for 200. Uh -oh, Can, 200. I get Can I get 210? Can I get 210? <laughs> <laughs> wow. The old oh, setup. <laughs> Don't be uncomfortable about that whole shit. Fuck that bitch ass nigga. Mm. I, I, that, they said that. I, I, anyway, fuck it. Bitch ass nigga, fuck him. They said Kiss raccoon my ass. paw prints are on that. Stop. Huh? <laughs> Somebody said raccoon paw prints are on it. Raccoon paw, paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it is. Somebody say it really so is. elbows are registered. 
don't want to rub off the damn. I remember the first time I saw that. Mm. Zoe gave him the Negro announcement, man. He said, man, I ain't going to take too much more of this shit. Right. <laughs> Didn't he? It's always a warning every he time. Warned. It's always like, yeah. listen, yeah. fam. Yeah. That ain't yeah. what that hoe ass nigga yeah. said. That hoe ass nigga said, I was in here cracking jokes. Yeah. But that's funny. <laughs> and Corey them <laughs> shut me up. It's what really? he told his lawyers and shit. It's on tape. Y'all go live. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. His lawyers right. hadn't watched the tape at first, but. Mm. When they saw I had them lawyers that they had, mm. that's when they watched the tape. Mm. Mm. Hey. They was like, oh, ain't no case here. Yeah, this is perfect right here. You can't. This 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 this. It was a threat right mm. before the motherfucking. So you defended yourself. Don't be scared. Boys, All you did was defended yourself. Well, you laid hands on Zoe about four times. If you wanted to hurt him, you'd have punched him, Zo. Every time, every yeah. time yeah. he said Zo, Zo gave him that look like, man. Uh, you yeah. you got a problem with it. Nigga, nigga, you know where to find us, drunk nigga. Come on, I'll let you boy. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your goons with you. You was talking about, too. <laughs> God, oh, I got that yeah. text. Mm. Suck ass nigga Them goons You said you gonna break You <laughs> got the gate code nigga Come <laughs> save me uh, This is oh, trying to be a pastor me. now uh, <laughs> 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 he, sure, he sure blessed that boy That's what he, he blessed that nigga yeah. I see that nigga up here It's coming through them walls at his ass <laughs> Bitch ass nigga Boy Okay that's Yeah I'm Get from Chattanooga nigga. man That's funny hey. He from Chattanooga Yeah That's right Alright <laughs> These country boys like you Ronnie Hey man, you know. You Honey, get out the shade. You came up here by yourself, G. ATL, I'm, I'm solo, we ain't talking about you know, ATL. Man. We just spoke about ATL. We just talked right? about all that shit. To my cat, yeah. uh, Wanda. Yeah. Uh, God, she started with him though. See? She poked there the bear. She kept. She, oh, she poked. She the said bear. like there three, four go. things, and then he was just um. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and he was over there just loading up the clip. Clip. Oh. <laughs> like on boys in the hood, we had the clip rag uh, on the thing in the back. Uh, hey. oh, I was like, God. ooh, it was so this is gonna be bad. Ooh. That's what I was talking about, man. I didn't think it was no. No thing that um, warranted um, it to go past that. that. Right. Mm. right, right, right. Because, you know, um, her husband's cool as hell, though. That's why I was like, what? I, I, I wouldn't see him putting no gun. I see him. We know he big, right? He big as hell. He big. Yeah. Well, I'm big as hell, so shit. That's he, what I'm he saying. My size, you know I what ain't saying? no little motherfucker either. Right, right, right. He put. <laughs> the boy's cool as hell. He, he love that. He love that lady, man. <laughs> you can't. You can't go home if the dude talking shit to your wife at the club. Like you gotta. Do oh something. well, I'm gonna tell you know. like this: If my wife talking shit to somebody, I'm gonna grab her and be like, "Look, don't say nothing else to that nigga. Right, right. <laughs> don't, See, don't say don't nothing else to that nigga. I don't, I don't know what happens. This whole I'm situation like, you know, gonna go bad if you, don't you say already that. know what happens. Uh, you know what's gonna happen next. Don't say uh, shit to that nigga. Mm. And if your woman care about you, she gonna shut the fuck up. Yeah, but if your woman that. don't care about you, she gonna sick you that way, and you gonna get what well, you gonna get. That was two comedians going at it. In my yeah, opinion, that's fair. Two comedians. It's fair when it's two comedians. Right. So it should have stayed like. That anyway, all right. So I'm gonna move on. Speaking of uh, uh, South, <laughs> I, I was just trying to get you guys' opinion on your take on this. I don't even heard about what happened to Webby, the rapper, right from Baton Rouge. Um, he's getting sweated by people uh, for how he handled um, his children. Uh, they're calling it, they're calling it that they don't like how he public. That's the new thing. Publicly shamed his nah, kids. He did, right? I think so too. So in this incident, this is what happens. He caught his teenage sons, plus a friend of theirs, in bed with a girl. Now, these are all 13, 14-year-olds. And so he decided to post on the Internet, live stream of him disciplining all of them and asking for their parents' phone numbers so he could call them and tell them. He said, um, because he says clearly in the video that I won't have you guys leaving here in my house going to change your story and have me in any kind of trouble. Mm -hmm. So he had them sat down there. I mean, it was... It's really interesting. So he tells the underage boys that their lives are about to change and that he trusted them into his sons. How dare you? Telling them that they effed up, all you boys in the bed with this one girl, and the girl sitting there. He said, wow, really? <laughs> Three boys? He's like, wow, really? She, they're, they're all trying to hide their face. Anyway, he said that um, He said after that, he ripped their doors off of their rooms, and now he's catching flack for how he chose to handle this. Again, like I said, now the kids, even though they were, and this is what people were trying to like, debate about because they were saying oh it's not like they were having sex because apparently he did claim he said no the kids all had clothes on but they were in the bed and he said other people were saying oh they're just being badass kids well they were 13 and 14 and in his home so he mm -hmm. said this is what he did he, he was pissed he, he pulled them all out one of them tried taking off running away so let me say this though is that odd when it's three boys in bed of with a girl? Of course it is. That's Very probably odd. part of the Very probably odd. part of the anger as well. I think. 
I think he was covering his tail though. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to with kids they like that. They can change the story. They can change the stories when they leave. The girl can change the story. All that. Like, look, this happened at his house. They can and say his he care. locked him in there. You know, it could anything. be anything. He was, but it was funny because he had that New Orleans. He was like, "Hey, man, y'all in here, man, to help that with that girl, man." <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> it was the you worst, watch the worst video. voice yep. for child <clears throat> discipline ever. It was, Webby was he did right, but he I just think these like youngsters that. they fast Little man uh, on some other shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, like. I just imagine when we was young, it ain't never been three boys in bed Mm-mm. doing shit. Mm. <laughs> right? Mm. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> Period. That is a fact. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, that too. Niggas, look, when <laughs> niggas get a hotel room and there's only one bed in the room, uh-uh. one nigga sleep on the floor, don't mm. he? Yeah, yeah. 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 He sleep on the floor most There's of the night. Right. Then yeah. when his back getting ready to go out, he be like, fuck it, dog. You lay that way over lay this way. <laughs> or let me get the chair from my feet up. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I get the big chair. What? I, what? Said, my nigga, I don't know boys who laid in the bed together. Look, mm. somebody said nothing. that's that Molly. Somebody said that's that Molly. That's that Molly? Is that yeah, what I it don't is? know, but I'm just saying. But he handled it. He oh. So was there a girl in the bed, too? Yeah. No, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Three but boys. I don't so give a fuck if it's a girl in and the bed. 13, 14-year-olds. It was two of his sons and one of their friends. But he said he had just caught him the other day with a chick in the house. See, like, doing some stuff. He was like, that, this is my second time. Like That's why he uh, videotaped him, because he caught him. Wow. He keeps sneaking chick. You know, he on the road and stuff. You know what I I'm get saying? that. You know, he got to protect himself, because the girls, they sometimes uh. they play victim, and they in yeah. Yeah. his house. Mm. We already know. that. Hats off for that. He handled mm. it like a like 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 a man. Yes. Yeah. But! What Uh-oh. the fuck? Not but. There's three boys in the bed. What are you doing? three boys in the bed. <laughs> What is y'all doing? If I walked in on my son <laughs> <laughs> in bed with, with his brother, with one other nick, wait, with one other nick, like like y'all late. Well, y'all if I saw my son in bed with his brother sleep, I'd be like, y'all stop that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my house, guys. Get some cake and water. <laughs> you, you ain't in the rapid eye movement yet, did you? Get up, get your ass up. No. <laughs> so bless his heart. He's getting some flack for that. He ain't got word. Yeah. Dick Tac Toe. Somebody put that up there. Dick Tac Toe. That is Stop. great. Wow. Dick Tac Toe. Hilarious. Fuck yeah. I'm going to the new edition concert after this. That's why I'm dressed like See, this. That's why he's got to do the moves. Every little step he takes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Everybody at the Lauren Hill right now. I was like, she going to come oh, out Oh, that's midnight. right. Yeah, she not going to come, come out until yeah. midnight. The show started at 7. She gonna Let them night. wait. <laughs> Wow. Wait. Let them wait for that album <laughs> that I came out with. I ain't got no new yeah, shit. That mm. came out in '98 too, bro. Right, it's still on the road. It's still mm. bomb. I was still living in Chicago. Yeah, but that's hey, still album was fire though. That is '98. She looked like Nelson Mandela oh, now. That now they look. She looked like Nelson Mandela as she got older. Shit, shit. Not Winnie, but Nelson. Nelson. Nelson Mandela. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. How many when they, I when did they have that picture? She got a lot of few kids. She got like, like, like four or five kids. Mm-hmm. Lauren got a lot of kids. Yeah. When she had that low haircut too, I was like, God <laughs> damn. <laughs> 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 yeah, she'll pull up with a scarf and a Yankees hat in a minute. Like, oh, do rag. You fuck. never know. <laughs> That's fucked up. So I say she looked like Carl Weathers. Mm. But she, uh, cool G rap. They say she looked like cool, cool G. Y'all not gonna rap. be happy with this, but that's a beautiful woman. So you oh. you, you said everybody beautiful. So Lauren Hill ain't beautiful. I can't fuck with her for real though. I <laughs> sneak around with her. You cool on Lauren Hill? Lauren Hill is beautiful, man. I can see Lauren just sit by your truck. He'd you be like, "Get your ass, go ahead oh, on." Oh, <laughs> Lord, nah, I'm out of town, okay? I fuck up with my clothes on. Mm. Oh, you're dry humper? I can't get naked for her. I mean, no, what? Bitch, what? Pants Just down. for nostal- like for nostalgia's sake? Not, not even... Not even like, wow, you the know what I'm Just like, it, oh, the Do you think she's beautiful? Yeah, the Lauren Hill from the Miss Education is beautiful. No, Lauren Hill today, my nigga. I ain't seen the downloaded, updated... <laughs> Rasta The downloaded mm. up mm. I'll fuck up with my pants Pulled down And I'll have a pad Out my ass Come out <laughs> Whoa Are you still cute? Everybody is saying She's she beautiful cute, yes, That's a, She's you. a cougar man Hey cougar this now. To each his own I don't think that, Rihanna that go, bad that, There you go To each his own <laughs> Rihanna is overrated to me God damn it You think it. so? On he the Frankenberry side it. of the game oh, She look Lord, like he, Frankenberry to me Come on now he Sexy ass Frankenberry Now I smash her naked But I still be like Wait a minute, Frankie Bear had the big ass head? Yeah. God dang it. Frankenberry. 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that girl fine too, man. I'm just saying. I ain't knocking her. I'm just saying. I, I, I think she over there. I think she mess a billion. I done seen them no make up pictures, goddammit. She mess a billion. On the Cecil Fielder side of the oh game. Oh, my God. Chris Brown. Cecil Fielder. Chris Brown. Yeah. All right, move on. You'll like this one, Corey. Here we go. Your boy, your boy Kanye West says, I am moving back to Chicago. He says that he is moving back to Chicago, but he's not abandoning L.A. Kanye made the announcement yesterday in the wind, at the Windy City event when he was with Chance the Rapper. He says, I got to let y'all know that I'm moving back to Chicago and I'm never leaving again. He says that he, even though he built his homes here in L.A., that at least he'll have a home to come back to in Los Angeles. Yeah. Space off tops. So he says he has multiple properties here in L.A., but he's still going to keep coming back. He's got business out here, Calabasas, but Chicago is his home, home base. Wait, yeah, going, we all so the Kardashians going to be in Chicago? I was going to say, old girl ain't moving to Chicago. I was going to say, not in Moline time at all. Huh? You going to Moline? Moline. Hell no, he ain't home. going to Moline. And they're going back to Chicago with them mm-hmm. niggas who, okay. you know, he hot right now as far as it go with still got juice to make shit happen. So, them Chicago niggas going to greet him with an open arms. Protect him. Oh. But when that motherfucking, when that fame and shit go away, mm-hmm. they going to be like, hey, man, don't be bringing that faggot ass nigga over here, man. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, I'm just telling you how it go. <laughs> right now, he good. Mm. Them he, niggas finna be like, oh, Kanye, come on, nigga. Mm. What can I get up out this dick? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> to get up out this dick. What can I about this dick? We ain't tripping on that Trump shit. You gotta get that paper, nigga. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's your homeboy. It's all good. That's yeah. your homeboy. They walk up to him like, you hiring, right? Mm. Right. You, I know you hiring. As long as it's sweet. As long as it's sweet to fuck with you, niggas gonna fuck with you. Mm. I don't That's think what Kim, anything. I don't, I don't think him coming at all. Kim ain't gonna move to no motherfucking Chicago. Them bitches jump on that bitch every day out there. Oh, 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 oh. Them crazy ass bitch, they gonna jump on that oh, bitch. Boy. Y'all Chicago niggas, y'all done tapped the uh, bodyguard pocket. What you got? What you got in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. They <laughs> brought the bodyguard. I ain't knocking Kanye. I'm just saying. I know how it go, nigga. <laughs> this, this how niggas really look at Kanye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he kind of really look at him. It's all PR though. It's like right. now that we don't mess with you. Now you back in the neighborhood. Mm. And now, mm. I do So yeah, we appreciate it, but you know, we'll wait. We'll, we'll, we'll wait on it and see what happens. They'll take some money. They'll take some business offerings. They'll take some money. Let's see. Right. Is the average dropper you still gonna stay when your shit drops? Ain't stupid. What can yeah. this nigga do for me though? Oh. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But all there that walking down the street. At the, the slow down, them niggas going. It's gonna be a contest to mm. see who can get you. Mm. Mm. Niggas Damn. in Chicago, dog. Let me tell you something, man. Motherfuckers rob niggas. They don't even kill them if you famous. Mm. I know <laughs> niggas got robbed in Chicago. Famous niggas. Mm. They ain't kill them because the niggas who robbed them knew them. Mm. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Them your homies who robbed you, nigga. Oh, Glad shit. you came up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, when they say come out here, let me know. Oh, boy. Damn. Mm. Niggas fucking laughing at you at the fucking uh, breakfast spot all night. <laughs> then when you pull off, goddammit, they call it. He on his way back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> They've been sitting outside your house the whole time, huh? <laughs> what? Oh, Kanye oh, finna be man. hanging in Chicago. Uh, mm. He gonna hang while it's sweet. Mm. Them niggas who working him gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? I just want to see when it it's gets cold. Feet. Y'all look like, oh, like that. Yeah. When it get cold there, y'all are y'all about a month away now, from it being huh? too oh, cold. Yeah, and about like, October, mm-hmm. end of October. October. Mm-hmm. 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 That's Chicago winter. No, sir. No. No. No, no. So, <laughs> last thing I just want to cover. Uh, so, it looks like Coca Cola is in serious talks about using marijuana infused drinks. Mm. What? Uh, yes, because, but now, mind you, you know how marijuana works. It, it's not going to contain. You know, Kim Kardashian <laughs> is in California <laughs> now. It's not. It's it's not going to have the psychoactive ingredient known as CBD, oh, right? Okay. So it's not going to so. have that. It's not going to get you be high, but it'll help it's with THC. It's called get, it's CBD. Got, I'm sorry. It's not going to have THC in it. You mean right? What's that? THC. THC is the high stuff. CBD is the healthy stuff. They'll use yes. the healthy it's gonna stuff. Keep the, right. Thanks. They'll have CBD in it. Yeah. Can you get a buzz by drinking it? Mm. No, CBD no. helps you feel better. Thank you. Know, you. It's gonna, matter of fact, I was going to recommend this. Corey, you, get you if sleep. they release THC this, is the you're going to be drinking this stuff. Why? It's going to it's going to ease inflammation, pain, and cramping. So you telling me a Coke is about to be good for you? Okay. That's why 
I gotta have this operation next week. Right, right. Fucking with yeah. Coke. Fucking with soda pop. Yeah. <laughs> As they say in Murfreesboro. It was that's soda pop. Yeah, that's uh, it. That old soda pop gonna shut your ass down, nigga. Yeah, okay, I had to get off, right, the, so get said, off that soda boy. Good they move. did say, they said CBD is a non psychoactive ingredient found in cannabis that is said to help ease pain, but without the buzz or, or have uh, some, or the, the buzz that some of the users seek. Now, mind Push you, CBD is the stuff, too, that they've been using on dogs for their joint you know, juice. joints, all the yeah. stuff like that. So if you. Yeah, it's NBA on the market now. People now. use it. You can rub it on your joints. Right, you can rub it on your joints. People drink make it, put it stuff better. like that, right? right? If it make you feel better to drink the weed coke, them kids <laughs> going to be drinking it too. They say legally the oil is readily available right now in the UK and it's very popular. So Cannabis coke. It's going to work when you feel mama drink coke a lot and you get in trouble, you just swap them cokes out. You'd be straight. Mm-hmm. What about them bitches all they drink is pop and they breastfeed? Mm-hmm. Oh, my <laughs> they God. They be dark as hell, boy. Why Kid your face up? big than a motherfucker. <laughs> Just FYI, the CBD oil. That's that's that your breast milk got bubbles in it. Right, your breast milk beige. <laughs> Carbonated it's, but it's also It's also a, a great alternative. Carbonated breast milk. <laughs> It's also a great alternative to help your sleep. It aids in sleep. It alleviates your mental and health conditions such as depression and anxiety. I just don't know how that's going to work. It ain't. Is it going to be carbonated? It's a hype job. It might be. But here's the thing. You don't need to go get the Coke. Just go get the CBD Uh from oil from, you know. Right. Uh Do the same thing. It's just just a way to charge $10 for a Coke. That's all. Thank you. That's crazy. $20. Watch. It's it's just going to make some sales. They're going to try and That shit going to be lean Coke. Cola. Uh, <laughs> lean cola. Lean cola. Lean cola. Mm. For real. Cola. Kush cola. They used to see what that was. Like I said, it looked like a pepper. The can look kind of fresh, though. I like the, the can. Yeah. The can is cool, though, right? It looks inviting. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I would crack <laughs> that up. I would you fucking buy it just to see. That's I would, I would drink it just to see, but I... I would look, you take a swig, Bobby? Oh no, see, we Bobby don't drink Bobby nothing but Cajun water. Man, that nigga is straight. That's you why. I, let me tell you something. Coca Cola. I said this on the show uh, about a month ago. Bobby is a freak of nature. Mm. This motherfucker can still hoop right now. Right now. Run up and down the court. Look at him. Right now. January, man. Uh oh. What, the rematch? You got to have him. Bobby, stop. What? He's calling you out. You so? beat him? I beat Bobby sure. again. No, he just said a Taking rematch. It okay. It was a close game. It was game. a struggle. Yeah. Was it? Okay. It was a struggle. It was Not like, did y'all take Uh-oh. this? Oh, oh yeah. It was yeah. like, yes, it was like fighting an old take boxer. Take the whole yeah. thing and play it on the show. Yeah. <laughs> it was a struggle. I was surprised. He was uh, narrating, so it was hilarious, man. Oh, Bobby yeah. had on that outfit old boy and Jaws had on. <laughs> when, he was, <laughs> when, he was, when he got eight, you know, the oh, motherfucker who had the boat out. <laughs> <laughs> ripped up and shit. Yeah, I looked into his eyes. How you doing? Like now? doll's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do it on. We're gonna do it on Martin Luther King birthday. Oh, oh, he is. Oh, yeah, we'll yeah. Ooh, Bobby's like, eyes were like. I'm gonna be back ready, eyes. but I'm gonna. Once I get this, once I get this surgery done, yeah. boy, I'm about Uh-oh. to motherfucking be back. He about to be buying. I'm gonna hire a personal trainer. You'll get right. I'm finna be sexy Holcomb. Oh, sexy oh. Holcomb. Now it's not whole heap. It's gonna whole be heap. Up. No, he, he cut. Two that months down. from now, I'm doing this show with my shirt off. Oh, oh. that'll yeah. work. That'll work. Go yeah, ahead, bro. Thing, Bobby. It's uh-huh. gonna be easy to beat you again. Because I don't know where you're coming you. from with that, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Say what? Uh-oh. what That's the key. You Bobby shoot. said. Zo oh, said really? you can't shoot, Bobby. I can shoot. Oh really? Uh-oh. Oh, Bobby, really? you can't shoot. y'all got a dude that hoop right here, and he punch people like. Uh-oh. Everybody, you have a special skill. Bobby yeah. got root beer oh. color t shirts. Yeah. He hoop here. <laughs> root. I can't shoot. Okay. Barks. Right. <laughs> this ain't no three point contest. I'm telling you that, right? Mr. Pib color. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like the 70s. The All these shirts. Like the people on Snowfall. You got them yeah. Snowfall color t shirts. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, I had to play serious the hardest defense. He ever did in his on, life. on Bobby. Because I didn't know life. he was so spry. In his life. Bobby's Ooh. very spry. I feel like you would have your wallet on you while you hoop. <laughs> yeah, in his sock, <laughs> his car keys, everything. The long no, dress no, sock. No, no, he got a flashlight no, on the court, no, everything. No, <laughs> he you get uh huh. Tool belt on, no. all that shit. He come with accessories, but I had to play defense. <laughs> the most he ever played in his life. He tries to have dressed like a painter. He ain't got it twice. <laughs> Yo, it ain't he told you his game already. Now he soot shirts. He needed soot man, for that bullshit jump shot he got. Bobby, but that bullshit jump shot. Huh? Put you to rest. Oh. You had to. 
Did the bullshit? What was the score? How close was it? it was, I won uh, by two. He won by two. Really? Yeah. Bobby he beat me five. one day. Yeah. Bobby don't play around. Then I played him again, and I think he. Corey, <laughs> Corey was uh, the junkyard dog the second time we played. What they mean? Kamala the Ugandan giant. He wrestled. He was filing everybody. I wrestled. Oh, you was nah, wrestling. No, it wasn't no layup. You was no leaning on me. No layup zone. He should have, man. Bobby. That's Bobby pulling to the side says, oh, you should kick him. You got to, Uh-oh. man. You got to ride it's him like basketball. World Ride the Road Trigger. That's okay. That's your only chance. Man. I'm about to get some more muscle mass back on me once I motherfucking get up out this bullshit. Corey, that same bullshit jump shot that beat him beat you. I didn't see but that. he wasn't playing with I rocks in slaughter. his belly. You saw but the slaughter. That's man, true. Fight, they just stopped it. No, 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 no. I, I had these they for years. It's just that no. he probably had them then. No, it eventually got worse. Right. That's why I lost the second time. Them rocks. He got rocks in his belly. See, boulder <laughs> <Yeah>. belly here. <laughs> <laughs> Boulder yeah. belly. Yeah. Yeah. With friends like this, I literally played against the mountain. Mm. Somebody say Corey got on a blouse. <laughs> this is one of my old shirts I used to wear. It's, it's, it's huge on me now. Yeah. But I used that. to fit this shirt. Mm. Now this motherfucker huge. I throw it on. This is a tuxedo shirt. Mm. They don't know. Got Bobby sung with the five heartbeats. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, Bobby won with the five heartbeats. He was with the other group. <laughs> Bird and the midnight and the Falcon. Midnight Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby do that. Go, go, go. Ooh, oh, eh. Stop running around. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm from Atlanta, man. For sure. Fuck your be. books. <laughs> Ain't that what Bird said? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Nigga hung out the window. <laughs> hey, look, Big Reds, hold on one second. I keep an asshole they in suspense. They said Corey got Pop Rocks. <laughs> oh, go ahead. You can talk now. Yeah, <laughs> they said I got Pop yeah. Rocks. Pop Rocks. Oh. Rock, rock to the planet, rock. I heard uh, Big no Red stop. be around LA for real. They said he be everywhere. Who? He live in Big, Vegas for like The dude who played Big Red. They said yeah. he be everywhere in LA. That's Bobby. Bobby had boy. him on my yeah. show once, and he went yeah. off. Oh, he Uh-oh. did. Big Red went off. Big Red was on the man, show. Man, Bobby man. brought him to one of my shows. Oh, Big Red was a charm. I mean it. He's a good yeah, dude. Chicago brother, man. Uh-huh. That's yeah, what's yeah. up. He's a charm. A lot of people need to know he's um he graduated from the University of Notre Dame in the theater game. He's a Shakespearean actor no, for yeah. real. Oh, yeah. That's dope. Yeah. He looked uh, like he, you could tell he was he yeah. was he could act good yeah. when uh he came in that funeral after he killed oh, old boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> top <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor <laughs> Tutti Bella. You shouldn't be alone tonight. <laughs> oh, he was wild. He was wild. <laughs> he killed the nigga and pulled up at the funeral. Uh, Open up that goddamn window. <laughs> He rappers ain't hard, boy. Him and that actor who played Prince Father on the uh, oh, oh, boy. Them two just like boy. this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. shit? Yeah. What I do to you? <laughs> Don't I keep the heat on? <laughs> you want the shit? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He's I lost good. my babies. He was in half bait too. He was he was Samson in half bait. <laughs> That's the difference between you and I. Right. I don't write him down. Mm. Oh, he was good. No, when and Morse Prince, said when his daddy shot his mom or whatever, Morse day was like, "How's the family?" Right. Oh. <laughs> that was like, cold. God. That's when trolling was invented, right then. That's no. Morse day. Yeah. Morse day invented trolling. That's my theory. Shade, right. shade trolling. Yep. <laughs> yeah. How's yeah. the family? And then he thought about it. that's some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. He thought about he like felt that. bad. Yeah, and shit. Bad. Like damn. That's my real life cousin. Right. <laughs> 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 mm. uh. No, that's his name, Clarence Williams the Third. Oh, yes, yeah. like them two are the best. Yeah. Them two are the most intense yeah. actors. Yeah. 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 Big Red and, and Clarence uh, Williams the Third. Tales from the Hood. Oh, you, you want hoodlums. the shit? The General's yeah. daughter. Yeah. 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 When John Travolta yeah. asked something about the General, yeah. every movie you got to do that. That's in his contract. Yeah. Right, he got the sweat, that motherfucker. Look, he know how to make himself sweat good. Those are the pre Samuels. Because huh? mm. when Samuel came, he just took over all those. He took over all the cussing roles. The pre Samuel. Oh, yeah. He took all the cussing roles. He, he, yep. Because, mm. because, yeah. Samuel can get intense. Who's the top cursor in the in the movie it game? Got, like Sam, Samuel. Jackson. Yep. Sam Jackson. Sam yep. Jackson. Uh, mm. Who else? Everybody else. Is Sam Jackson in that last King Kong movie was funny as hell when he was looking at that ape. He was. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you. Oh, uh, <laughs> he, he was tripping keep on David that But he did kill these men. <laughs> right. I say, I, so I Keith like, David didn't get a nomination, uh, Emmy for uh, Greenleaf. Who was Keith David? I don't. Re- no, I don't think Mr. so. Mr. Wallace from uh, the Barber Shop. I don't think so. I didn't hear that. He was in the ATL and um, was he nominated? That's what I was asking. Now. I no, heard I of Keith David. So. I know. You ain't seen him in 300 yeah. films, man. Shit. What does he do? 
What is one of his actor, famous man. roles? Uh, Platoon. He played King in Platoon. He, he was oh, he played on Black Jesus with us. Yeah, yeah. as a crooked preacher. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That motherfucker sure. didn't smile with nobody <laughs> on set. <laughs> then when this big character. booty bitch came by, he was like, "Hi." We were dying. <laughs> <laughs> He couldn't do nothing but laugh. He, he was like this the whole set. Then he saw that girl. He said, Hi, hi. <laughs> we was dying. Oh, then he, I'm then he opened up because oh, he had to laugh too. Oh, oh, you ain't saying shit to nobody. <laughs> That's, That's one hilarious. of the funniest <laughs> scenes I ever saw, man, on Black Jesus, bro. Because he put it out there. You sit up there and cuss that old Bobby, lady you brought, out. you brought him to the show, too, didn't you? Yeah, he came mm -hmm. to your show. Yeah. yeah. Damn. We yeah, didn't have to be doing all the motherfucking uh, Paul Masson drinking ass. Just <laughs> 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 a real Paul Masson. Old girl had a plate of food for him after the show was over. Just the real ones, man. He good. Yeah. That's what's up. Hey, man, I want to say this, man. All you people who be donating money, man, we appreciate it. Man. Somebody hit you with a C fast. note, boy. Somebody, who, who, who that? Who that? Who that? I, Somebody say I got a liquor store ass outfit. This is an Andy Fran outfit. This is a Cheesecake Factory outfit. Your <laughs> ass white too, goddammit. <laughs> this, this is the dude who your mama uh, take, oh, take your mama out, but you know your Vic mama Robinson. Over. Can't wait to see you in Detroit. One love, 5150 Nation. Oh my God, I'm man. in Detroit this weekend, yeah, man. That's what's up. Hey, hey, somebody from uh, the, the Carolina said, you can come on. They flooded by my house. They were like, tell Corey to come to Carolina. <laughs> oh, we had to switch that day to the end of October. Yeah. See, yeah, they were it. like, come on, still. Uh, <laughs> it's like, y'all uh, underwater. I love going to it's motherfucking North right. Carolina. Good Charlotte, now, nigga. Charlotte, is, Charlotte be on fire. Charlotte be on fire for real. Charlotte hood is fucking night. That yeah, downtown Charlotte, Charlotte, you hood. You can try to Charlotte for real. Like. Charlotte mm. like a little Atlanta. It's baby Atlanta a little bit. It's, it's, it's ain't got nothing but that little diner that's open late. Yep. It's you like go four up in that motherfucker, boy. Them motherfuckers. Like eight goons, I can't, I can't oh, even no go in there. Them niggas be like, hey, come here, <laughs> lady. Look who it is. It's that nigga here. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Corey, I want to ask you this question. Has Cam got a problem with the rest of the, the brothers in the league, man? Because like, they go hard at him on that football field, man. Because he's huge. I, gotta I know he's huge, but. Have you seen like that person? Yeah, he's he's, 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 not, he's not a normal size. He look like an underarm mannequin. I'm a big fan of Cam, but I think he like them boys. I'm just so keeping it real. You see his outfit oh, with the I, robe, bro? What, nigga? Have you seen the memes? <laughs> Frank, hey, there's the memes. Yeah, the the Cam Newton memes are the best. You got to do number one, number two, D. God, cool. You said you got to go to the bathroom. You got to go to the bathroom. You sure? I do that in the morning. No, he was sad, though, man. I think D got a shit. I got to go pee pee. You can't see his sweat, but at the top of her head, it's wet. You don't want to get You guys want to hear? I got to go number one. Jesus, Jesus. That's the fucked up shit to have. Hey, you got a boo boo? Oh, no. My God. Go on him. Somebody say the NFL full of coins. Cam is rather spicy. Look, I don't give a fuck, Cam. Like them boys, I be rooting on you, Cam. Fuck that shit. But, but he's them, a good player. Them outfits be, be nah, good. but they be going after him. Them outfits got a story man, behind. Man, up with that. No, what they the reps don't never call it though. They allow they allow those guys to hit the black quarterbacks differently yeah. than they. Than it, you can't even fall on a white quarterback. You can't graze Tom Brady like you can't. You can't shake his hand in the beginning of the game. That's a penalty. And I was around this white dude today, and he mad cool, but he said, "Yeah, because they can't be hurt." Because people won't watch the games, I was like, "Wow!" But it, it, it's only it ain't it, it wasn't. I don't think it was with bad intent. It's just that's how people think. Mm. You know what I mean? Melanoid power. The value of black lives. from Oakland. So, thank you, Melanoid power. Melanoid power. Wow. Look, we got to call out everybody from one dollar all the way up to yeah. motherfucking a hundred dollars. Yeah. Ten dollars just came in. So First nigga yeah. give a thousand dollars. We gonna fly you down here. And, uh, <laughs> Get you, you sit in the crown. What are we gonna can let he him sit do? In the throne? Huh? Can he sit in, in your throne? <laughs> well, he can sit in that one over he there. He can have that one. We got the original one from the other show. I can't have that one. I'm about to do a photo shoot now, my I was about to say, I'm taking a picture with that one. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. About to lay up in this motherfucker. The original that's about to be my picture. That's, that's about that to be is. my profile that picture with that with that chick. We're gonna get ready to take a break so D can shit. And, I gotta uh, go number I'm one. Smoke, Lord so. have mercy. Ronnie gonna smoke. Bobby See? gonna smoke. See? Right the chimney. Um, yeah, you Bobby? Zoe about to shave. Oh, I got a, I got a pre roll. Let's do it. Man, I ain't know about that one. Oh, he didn't mean smoke like he smokes squares. Oh, you smoke squares. Ill. Oh. This, <laughs> what do you smoke? Oh, he said ill. Weed. I'm a bully. Hey, man, 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 man. Man. That was boozy as hell. <laughs>
my nigga Bodie on the track, go. My man Kaepernick got a new deal with Nike For sacrificing money and doing what's right But speaking up for his peeps is called spite In the heart of the wicked that hate the light But he stood strong and refused to fold Kept his composure, stayed in control Now the good things are coming his way I wrote a song about it, this is what I gotta say They try to get rid of him But Kaepernick just won't in control and watches all things, so do what's right and his blessings will bring. Joy and happiness along with wealth, a good feeling heart will bring good health. The wicked people on top know they're wrong, so X made the beat and I wrote the song. They try to get rid of him, but Kaepernick just won't go. Have no fear, cause this is your life The time is here to speak out on the justice And do the things To beat the devil down and let freedom ring To let the good get together as one big force Being down by law is required of course They try to be the way to show you how The battle of Armageddon is among us now They try to get rid of him
Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 5150 Entertainment. <laughs> Today we have a new group called the Fell Off Nickels. The Fell Off Nickels. We are about to, about to perform an A selection. <laughs> the Hit the beat, Frank. Oh, yeah. this, this chess hair music right here. Right, chess hair music. Hey. <laughs> this, hey. this, this, this is about a story that happens all over America. All Every day, day all, all day. Everywhere. Wrote a song about it. Go like this. One, two, three. Laying up in bed with your bitch while you at work. Hey. With that hump in my back. Hey. Laying up in bed with your bitch while you at work. With that hump in my back, hey. Every time you leave for work, my dick cheek gon' jerk. With your kids while they sleep, your girl be swallowing me. She go cook some grits. I go work the dick. Wipe off in the bathroom, bringing your life plenty gloom. Nigga laying up in the bed, hey, with your bitch while you at work. What you got with that hump in my back? Oh, oh. laying up in the bed with your bitch while you at work. While you with at that work. hump in my back. Boy, I was waiting on somebody else to come with. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on you, Bobby. What's oh, up? man, I ain't got no rhyme. The hump in the bed <laughs> with your bitch while you at work. With that hump in my back. Ow! Laying up in the bed mm. with your bitch while you at work. With that hump in the bed with your bitch while you at work. Come on, Corey, one more verse. Let's go. That hump up in my back. Ah! Laying up in the bed with your bitch while you at work. With that hump in my back. Ow! Laying up in the bed with your bitch while you at work. Come on, Corey, one more verse. Let's go. That hump up in my back. Ah! Laying up in the bed with your bitch while you at work. With that hump in my back, uh -oh. ow! Sitting outside your crib, hey, waiting on you to leave, hey. The reason you going through this, oh, okay. cause you got is 19 now, ow! She gon' get it too, ooh ooh ooh, yeah. Laying up in the bed with your bitch while you at work. With that hump in my back, ow! Laying up in the bed uh. with your bitch. While you at work, how the fuck you with that hump in my back? Ow. This is here. With your bitch, why you at work? <laughs> with that hump in my back. <laughs> hey, the hump in my back is my favorite shit ever. I just want to let you know. Oh, it sounds so civil whitey. <laughs> Hump in my back. I can't even make that sound. Oh, uh, it works in 2018 like it did in 68. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I believe you, Bobby. I believe. I believe Bobby. I believe him. With that hump in my back. You know how much dick you got to be giving somebody to have a hump in your back. Dolly be over here. She be, she be scared to put her shit out there. She Dolly be doing dirt. Bed at Webby crib with three niggas in the bed. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. Laying up in one snatch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! Two of you niggas got to share. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little boy, why you got a hump in uh, your man. back? That's that old school stuff. See? That shit was great. Go, oh, Bobby. We was talking about some shit before <laughs> you got here, Ronnie. We was talking about is it fair that um um the world is rougher on a big girl than it is a big dude. It ain't because I'm living my best life out here in these streets. Corey. All I need is a haircut, baby. <laughs> and it's 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 a it's a better day for me. <laughs> right, but I'm saying it's some it's some confident ass big. It's the swag. It's the person. I don't think it's I don't think it's the world. It's, I seen some big girls turn the whole room around. You like why these big? She smell good and got like she. But they she still good. catch more. Did she physically than... turn the room around? You know what? <laughs> but maybe we need to make a distinction between a big girl and a fat girl. Mm. What is the difference, Bobby? Mm. Tell me, Bobby. What's big the girl uh, is big boned and she has a immaculate figure, and and people be sleeping on that. But they, she's never lonely. Never. So never. you're just you're trying to differentiate between fat girl thinks she's a big girl. Fat. 
Yeah, because a big girl can be sexy. That's hell. No, a fat girl is the girl that be in to each side and her stomach got the t-shirt a little bit. Bro. Like that's yeah. you be like, okay, yeah. that's a fat girl. That's a fat girl. Yeah, big, the skin some, skirt. That's is some BBWs sexy. out here that's that's winning. Yeah, yeah, all over. It's a way to determine if you fat. If you ain't never got drunk at the club on somebody else's dollar, <laughs> you a fat bitch. <laughs> Is that fair to say? That's the truth. If I ever Damn. heard it, it wasn't enough alcohol to hit. Mm. You right. bought two Bud Ices for that's right. it. <laughs> that's Them Bud it. Ices ain't get a sting. If ain't. your stomach is bigger than your ass and your titties, you a fat bitch. How about oh, that? Damn. Okay, I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. All right. If you can't wear Air Force One. This is bitches out here ankle just uh, fall off the side of them L1. <laughs> bitch, Air Force One, that's a wide shoe, bitch. If you can't yeah. wear Air One, if that's you like need the last right. yeah. if you need New Balance D. Oh, yeah. this nigga dumb as hell. I'm just saying. If you can't wear Air Force, Air Force One, that's right. my favorite shoe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> wide ass shoe. pet. That's like the she uncle needs a, kid. That's like yeah. Yeah, I fuck with Air Force One. If she they needs, say the flight full. But somebody arguing up front, and ain't nobody sitting next to you. You a fat man. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like all stuff that, that, that happened to me. No. <laughs> if you had to go see a blacksmith, oh, right, you just need a haircut. That's all you say. <laughs> if you need to go see a blacksmith, a blacksmith. You What's a, a blacksmith? Head. They put yeah, them hoofs. The <laughs> a blacksmith, Bobby. Hey, that missed the I got that one, Bobby. That was good. That was good. <laughs> A blacksmith. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. You got hooves. <laughs> Where? Hilarious. If your oh. bed got the dip in the middle. Mm. If you cook chicken in the bed, like on six hundred pounds. Oh my god! When she did that, I could not believe it. <laughs> Who did that? On six, my six hundred pounds. They be in there making whole. They be cooking chicken in the bed. Like who plugged the fry up and put the? But grease? the kids did it, so the doctor be getting on the rest of the family. Like you are enabling, you're helping this person because mm. she can't get up to get to buy the food at the market or cook it. But then not wrong, they bought the food, but then they brought this uh, piece of wood, and she had the whole setup. Put the fryer right here. She was. Frying the chicken right what there. What did she in the accidentally popping on the cord, she wasn't even flinching. She tips over that. into the bed, hot care. grease. She did not care. She wanted <laughs> that, that grease fried. to the face. Well, they always, always be looking for, for that machine at Walmart. Yeah, for that motherfucker. The big girls always got that machine. Is it a handicapped person or is it a big motherfucker? Oh, the you talking about sitting in the car? Right. <laughs> it's, 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 the handicapped people be like, why is machine ain't nothing <laughs> red shit? Cause this is fat bitch in that motherfucker. <laughs> oh boy, that she bitch got guess. kids walking by her. You ever see that? Oh, oh right, got, the whole family. Oh, she oh, got walking around her, putting shit right. in the buggy like oh, a little like. Bitch a got bee. Oreos and mayonnaise in that motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> dang it! Like Mr. Gru off the incredible the uh, the minions. Damn it! <laughs> but can really big girls? What is it? S. What is it? BBWs? SSBBWs? I don't know. I don't know. But can they be sexy? Some of them can lay their legs all the way back, even what? though that you, 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 you'd be amazed. That's what I'm saying. You'd be like, your leg go back this far? <laughs> short dudes be like, I got to the fill of this. I'm going to go crazy over a big chick. It's a lot of short dudes be like, boy. I'm like, what you mean? No, but again, uh, uh, boys, they always want to fuck their mama. Personal, uh. personal preference, again. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there is a whole world out I'm there saying, that are yeah. no. I used to come and I tell you that a lot of my girls were all bigger women, <laughs> and we would go to this club <laughs> called Bounce. Hey, Long Beach, it's in the LBC, Bounce. and it's called Club Bounce. And oh, Speedy used I to go lit- there. I literally, yeah, he's in the bigger. I literally <laughs> got ignored the entire night. So they number all, one, the, they, the number one Bounce was the big girls. It's all yeah. big, and it's all, all the men are like Bobby. They're like that. They're like this skinny. You and saying Bobby all, was there? No, nah. I'm just saying. But <laughs> there's a there's a whole crowd of uh, men that prefer the preference is bigger women. And then there's a Miss Club bounce, so they crown her every year. And so the one that was sitting there, she was Miss sitting from it, and she had on fishnet like a fishnet jumpsuit. Everything was just coming number out. one drink people <laughs> order is soup and gin. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. But if you go there, let, it, me get a, I, let me get a broth island iced tea. Got <laughs> <them>. broth. <laughs> If you're a small woman, it is hey, no it's, fun. It's the only club that serves the chicken and beef broth popsicles. Right. It's the only club that serves okra. Right. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't want Wrong. Oh, boy. I'm 
can make broccoli. It I couldn't no help but I had to Have you seen that big girl uh, uh, twerking at a, a wedding reception? Yeah, I seen it. It's gross. That's a big girl. Oh, yeah, it's that's fucking a big gross. girl. Huh? It's gross. What was gross about it? Somebody like it though. She has some moves. Somebody like it. Okay. If that, you, they be she getting has a lot of moves. hits on the if you look on Pornhub, just type in any big something, you'd be like, yo, why is this guy? Right, so you, Ronnie, you a little spread out. Do you like you know the skinny girl? I'm a little girl. spread out. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm a little God. spread. You, said, you, you like speak this? for the husky community, <laughs> buddy. Right. Right. No, Zoe, Zoe has mastered hiding his um, flaw very well. You yeah. actually forget. It's, he had fish people. That's oh, what they oh, call it. He had take, a whole segment on Boston last week. Hat right. fish. Like, if he take that hat off, he's the one who created this. If he take that hat off. Things change. <laughs> Plies Neo. Plies Neo. All of you. No, his shit worse. His shit worse than oh, Neo. No, LL, LL. LL. LL got it at Dome too. LL right. got a dome. He, but he wore them skull caps. You can see his head. I'm just bit. saying. He got a pointy top. Have you seen girls Plies or little girls? I'm married, so my wife. Uh, my wife I met your wife. She's so sweet. So, yes, yes, and she's so see what sweet. I'm she lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Though. She's been working out since the second baby, so she bought. She's all about sixty pounds. Mm. So she looks. But great. that's what I'm saying. That's what I recognize. Bigger. Men tend to have See that was a topic women. The topic was yeah. Do they get women Bigger women get more flack That's From society Than a bigger man Big woman Big man um, They have to That, that bed is That bed of struggle dudes, at night you got some money You, you can need look, two, look two comforters mm. Yeah yeah. They ain't about to have one comforter with two two big <laughs> motherfuckers. That <laughs> shit gonna keep being pulled off of motherfuckers. Your own oh. comforter. You know what? I got my own for real. Like. <laughs> yeah, <it is>. Right. <laughs> right. You can't <laughs> share no comforter when you a certain <laughs> size. <laughs> Every time you roll a little <laughs> bit, somebody ain't got somebody whole thigh got chilly. <laughs> 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 my kids be jumping in my bed, so that's you know. It's, these niggas are stubborn as hell. Yeah. You need two but it, but to like, answer your question, <laughs> though, it's true. To answer your question, it is true. What? Oh, yeah, big girls get that shit. That they get, yeah, they get some shit. They get a lot of, like I said, flack. Yeah. yeah. Thick but women just now some. getting cool. That wasn't all. Like, white boys would be like, oh, my God, look at her butt, bro. No. Like, mm. in the 90s. Mm. Right. White, no, white boys right. didn't mess with, like, big old asses. They like, like, every girl you ever remember, you met, it was a white girl back in the day when you was like, damn, she got a fat ass, but no white dudes talk to her. Mm. None. Now they am. Because these well, girls. Now that what they did was they just presented it like bucks. that so much that people are like, oh, that's what's it. That's what's in. That's oh, it. Yeah. All you got to do is just keep showing something over and over again and people start gravitating towards it. Oh, hell yeah. We're hell the tastemakers. Yeah. We're the culture. Mm. Mm-hmm. You think Biggie changed that? But big asses, this is what I want to say. Is Biggie changing? If you don't fuck girls in the ass. What is your attraction to big asses? Just the way it look, or do you suck asshole juice? Uh-oh, here we go. You can't. How can you get to it? <laughs> Bobby big? said, "Okay, the here we go." <laughs> Bobby, Bobby don't. Bobby don't fuck with nothing to do with ass. He don't even wash his ass in the inside. He there said, you go. He said <laughs> "There you go." Yeah, yeah we don't. had this conversation a thousand what? times. But yeah. you say, Ronnie, they're attracted to the silhouette. But what do you do with the silhouette after that? I'm just saying, like, nothing. it just it's looks just, good. They just, just, just like to the... see it. It's just allure. It's just the attraction. You yeah. be like, hey, nice little waist, little. How old are you now, yeah. Bob? Uh, I mean, uh, Ronnie. Yeah, you still young. young he ain't. Yeah, yeah. In a couple of years, you are gonna admit your ass sucking, um, uh. fetish. Oh no, nah, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna tell. Some none people of my aren't into that. You now. gonna, you gonna, you gonna admit it? I've been married a long time, so you know. Mm. I'm, That's I'm weird. Mm. But you ain't gotta say it. I can tell by your haircut you just sucked the ass off. Oh. For sure, my wife. Because it's the same sure. as yours. Right. He's got the same hairstyle as you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What about you and that Bram Stoker's ass haircut you got ah, right now? What is what is the interview with the Bram Stoker? Bram Stoker, don't hate. Oh, excellent. <laughs> getting, Jesus. getting all mad. I've crossed Thanks oceans sure, Chris. of time. Jealous. We got we got fifty dollars. Oh wow, yeah, sugar like crisp, it. my man. Good looking yeah. out. Oh, I'm gonna give a shout out if I can this week. Of course. To our uh, 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 big supporter, his name is Shoebox. He came through on Sunday to the kitchen. Yeah. Ronnie and them were there. Ronnie and them and Tyler always come through, so we big for sure. I had to leave early, man. I was Thank you up. to Leslie you. Leslie loved the chicken too. I took Leslie Jones. That's, which Leslie Jones? 
Leslie, SNL, Leslie, you know Big Oh, dog. Big Les uh-huh. came though? Yeah. No, oh, that's, that's why I left y'all. I had to go interview her he for had to go with, yeah. for Emmy's. And dog. he took it. And, he took and it, I, took, yeah. she was, I said, I'm up to Soul Food Spot. You want some? She was like, chicken. I brought a barbecue chicken. Oh, great. No, it's weed. great. <laughs> and you got, and chicken you and left weed. early. Corey came. Corey came. Corey was walking in when I was bouncing. So. Oh, good. But anyway, oh, thank you guys so much for that. And Big Chris. Big Chris Floyd came. We have our Wakanda Wakanda Sunday brunches. That's right. I like that. I'll be there this Sunday, too. I'm just letting everybody know. Oh, give the name of the place and the address. It D. is Annie's Edibles, but it, on a, IG is A E Soul L A, and it's Annie's Edibles. Start off because you know my my homegirl Annalisa, short Annie, um, started off. She was one of the first places ever in Southern California that started making edibles, so she stuck with it. Annie's so Edibles. Get an address. So ten sixty six South Fairfax Avenue. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that this Sunday at about. I'm gonna get that this Sunday, like at around about noon. Hey, One o'clock. Though. I'll be there. So wow. you can meet me up there and say the what's up. The catfish. What? Ooh, everything. I, I say everything. They got red everything. snapper. They, no, they had, they had catfish and black. One time it was, was a close. girl in there taking Burgundy antibiotics. Wings. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> they got all children working there though. All the kids. <laughs> it's like, look. You want some Kool Aid? No, the no, right. the brothers in the back. All came from a good uh, program. Yeah, it's like all extra, yes. like all football players. Oh <laughs> my god, they are big so good. And shit. Like Under Armour mannequins. Who your big old nigga? Under Armour mannequins. They put their heart and soul in that. You ever go in the store and look up at wow. the guy? Wow, I know the big ass mannequins. <laughs> 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 This nigga's That's stupid Cam as hell. Newton, Cam, Newton Cam Newton mannequins. mannequins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's they, like two of them dudes. They, they fuck girl mannequins. They, yep. they like, bro, you, you need some more uh, cornbread muffins? <laughs> and you're yes, like, I do, giant, giant, giant black man. Giant black man. Ramel Dante. <laughs> Somebody said, is it black owned? Yeah. I guess she's black yes, kind, Look, he said kind of because she's she's Italian. But she half breed. She, yeah, she was married to a brother. <laughs> that's oh, when, I, look, when I tasted the macaroni Smokerini. cheese core, I said, oh my God. She got some mixed kids. And then I looked up and she does. Son. All of the <laughs> ones that play for UCLA. Yeah. So she, got, she, she knew black secrets. That's and her god, black secrets. And her godparents were Rick James and Tina Marie. And that's how oh, I met oh, Tina shit. when I was young. Well, she's so. a nigga then. Yeah. Right. <laughs> those are your godparents. You just better pick them. You can't even vote no more. It's a good right to vote for being related to you. No. You can't All vote top, in the top, nigga. If those don't are even, your godparents. She comes to vote, but they be like, nah. Nah, nah yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, but still, anyway, still, so yeah. Uh, I would say, if you say technically, it's kind of black owned. So anyway, she, she's semi in my book, owned. semi. That's what I'm saying. She's I'll son, be there man. at 12 to 12 30, yeah, you no know, later than one. Mm-hmm. So if you want to see me, come on up there and help support the shit so they can have a good week. Mm. Get that yes. paper. You know what? So she got edibles good, too, for real? Yeah, yeah, huh? And she got like weed edibles still? Uh, I don't know if she still does it that. It was just though, regular though. desserts in there, right? Just yeah. Like she has regular cakes. Wait, you, you thought that that banana pudding was something. You huh? was looking for that mm. Coke cannabis, wasn't you? No, oh. <laughs> 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 no. Nah, nah. My wife liked the cookies, though. Those lemon cookies. That was oh, good. they were so good. See, she we don't know what's in that. Like, I don't know. Bring some cookies back. All right. So maybe. There's an alley in the back, and ain't that many people walking back there in case you got a girl you ain't got no room money with. Mm. Uh, but there's joint. cameras all over the place, so just FYI. If you need to hit, it, you gotta hit a joint, then walk in Andes. That, that's when it tastes. This is uh, this is where uh, this is Little Ethiopia, it's right? In the it's heart of Ethiopia Ethiopia restaurants, yep. and then right there, boom, right. And that's why everybody in the neighborhood is like, "Oh, thank you guys for coming," because <laughs> the walking distance. They said all they had was that right. option. So right. I'm tired of yeah. eating goat throats. You know what? <laughs> <Stop> <laughs> it's all like, yeah. Hey, yeah. stop. That right. shit is delicious. And their supporters too. Baked awesome. wildebeest. They all come there too, so it's nice. They had Thank a festival you. the other day. It was blocked off. Yeah, ah. they did. Chilled <laughs> thought brains. Oh yeah, the, 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 wait thought though. Brain. You left early, Ronnie, but there was a, a neighbor. I don't want to say which store they were working Cold at, but throats. they came in and they walked right past Corey, and it was one of those. It was a Carlos. Right. And they, and they were complaining because the fried uh, catfish wasn't in the bag. Oh man! But when he, I said, no, wrong timing for you to be walking in and out of here because Corey was there. So, hey, Carla, you know what I'm talking about, right, Zoe? Mm-hmm. Let me get some of that cougar sack soup. <laughs> they got all kind of shit up. Cougar what? sack soup. <laughs> cougar sack soup <laughs> over there. Little, is it cougar little sack? Ethiopia. Oh, God damn it's got a little white diamond in it. Yeah, the Ethiopian <laughs> food. God damn it. Mm. Zebra feet. Oh, These God. niggas is zebra oh, feet. Oh, oh, I, knew God. Everything. I was like, I'm waiting on them to jump in here. They come. They right. Right. Eagle chin. Right. They going in there. Hey, I be having the most random people walk up to me like since the last. She's like 5150 Nation fan. Right. Like, okay. See? Yeah. <laughs> Let me get an elephant tusk like with some rhino yeah, snot. coming out at you like that. 
not uh-huh. based in <laughs> Ethiopian food is some of the greatest food in the world. No, it is. Is it like a, a lot of alligator eye food? with chewed up? Somebody said cheetah heels. <laughs> Let me get some bat wings with a uh, <laughs> hyena. Can I have the uh, <laughs> chimp nuggets? These niggas <laughs> is going nuts. Can I have the rhino back salad? And say, uh, <laughs> Tiger taint. Some niggas. You guys still Tiger have taint. Right. See, <laughs> what? Makes cheetah rhyme. Uh, pterodactyl sushi. Possum balls. Uh, right. <laughs> These niggas is wrong. <laughs> Let me get some caribou hair with a... Uh, Mm. <laughs> Some hawk claw. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Flies pies. That's I terrible. Big, big, big. Flies pies. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Giraffe gizzards. Can I get a ball right. eagle sandwich? <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> but listen, wait real quick before Let we Let me get an otter ear with some uh, Stop, <laughs> stop. <laughs> That's too No, much. listen, so there might not You gotta let them know there she may not be a show Tuesday Did you want to tell them anything or not? What? Did you want to tell them there may not be? It might not be a show Tuesday <laughs> Thank you, please, tell no. them It depends on D Excuse me It does me. You no. got company Put it all on you they all of a sudden just asked me, can I tape on Sunday? And I have a friend that's coming to visit got for people one coming. night. Bring them by. Kenyatta's not going to spend her time doing that. I haven't seen her in two years. Take, take authority. <laughs> I already told them I was going to go take them back to Long Beach after the kitchen. If I'm here next Tuesday, I'm a G. <laughs> anyway, Corey is yeah. going to have his, yeah, his no. surgery. I, I'll be in this motherfucker like, yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it, bro. Mm-mm. Lay it down. Yeah. Debbie, last well, time. You chill. You might as well. Broiled bear. No, but they weren't going to do it on Dung Tuesday. They were trying, trying to film roll. it, right? You guys wanted to record it, so I don't know if I can. So you doing this? You doing the show tomorrow night, Car? What? Aren't you in Bray tomorrow? Yeah, I'm in Bray tomorrow. Night. Yeah. yeah, man. Oh, somebody so asked me we about gonna, that. We're gonna I'm wrap it up. University Friday. Pitbull kneecaps. I see you, nigga. <laughs> Meerkat I meat. You. I see you. Uh-huh. Meerkat meat. Meerkat meat. Can you get a? <laughs> they let me get a hyena steak with um. <laughs> hyena steak. <laughs> right. That shit might be hit a little bit. Mm. You know what? Y'all marinate the hyena steak in. As soon as you cut it, it'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> No, but if you have you actually ate at an Ethiopian restaurant? Yeah, I ate at an Ethiopian That's restaurant. Really? really? Okay. I ate at an Ethiopian restaurant in Seattle. Oh, that yeah, shit I'm was I'm fine. fine. I'm it's telling good. you, it's That's what I'm delicious. Saying. It's good, and it's a lot of little, you know, samples. Does it, make, it look like it seems like that food off the second Indiana Jones and shit? It seems like it make you do do fast. <laughs> right. Have you have you had it before? No, I I'll I try it because I've so had it's like, like a stuff. bread. They have this like little the spongy one. bread. Well, that you, you can eat use. it with that or your fingers, right? Right. Then you got some lentils. You got some greens. You got some yams. You got all kinds of stuff, and you got meats. Yeah. You get a vulture spine with um <laughs> 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 with Tabasco on that bitch. Mm. A sloth. Stomach a sloth damn it. Stomach. Who said that? Excuse me, are the gorilla nuggets boneless? <laughs> <laughs> gorilla nuggets. <laughs> Can we, the boneless we gorilla nuggets for you? Right. Lemur nostrils. Right. <laughs> Let me get a Wolverine nose with me. <laughs> Let me get a honey badger back. <laughs> <laughs> so, about the uh, raccoon tacos. Um, <laughs> um, what? Right. The Ethiopian food is Coyote not, not like anything like we're God, describing. It's probably all healthy. Wolf, is death- let me get a wolf throat, no saliva, if you can. Oh, <laughs> wolf throat. Take the hold, saliva. Hold the saliva. I'm allergic. <laughs> Leopard glow. <laughs> I'm allergic to the wolf right. saliva. Bad. Oh, oh, shit. Get a we road do. runner bottom foot salt. Mm. Seal sausages. Oh, my. <laughs> do y'all still have the ostrich sh- chitlins? Is I there going to be any giraffe ribs this week? <laughs> Cricket <laughs> biscuits. They talk about these. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Giraffe. Possum casserole. <laughs> mm. <laughs> These niggas stupid. Ethiopian up there. food is not like this. Yes, I know. It's, I know. It's, no, it's, but if you, mad. it's the other animals of the jungle. Not the actual them. description, but if you were to look at it, so if you look at a plate, the plates that they have, because the other day I walked in one right before I went into the <laughs> kitchen, but it's it's just, it's almost like a goulash. Mm-hmm. It's like a bunch of different. A goulash? Things. Yeah. Did you say that? Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was a monster mash. <laughs> it got stepped on. It was a monster mash. Ooh, Fat yeah. bitch shoe. A goulash. <laughs> That's, no, that's the monster mash for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. 
Fat okay. bitch red bottom. That's a, <laughs> a goulash. <laughs> what do you call a fat bitch red bottom? A scrape bottom. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? A scrape bottom. bottom. A flat bottom. <laughs> Half red bottom. No, they're called Flintstone it. feet. You know the Flintstones uh, used to stop the cars with their feet. Yeah, okay. Dude. Fox mm. ribs. Mm. <laughs> These motherfuckers will keep going. Bison burger. <laughs> That's a real thing. Yeah. No, that is. Yeah. And that bison burger yeah, is it's good. Yeah, it's the best. It's, it's one of the best. Oh you had a bison burger before? Of course. Yeah, yeah. I had a bison when, burger. When my kid flew me to um, Catalina Island, because there's a, you know that Catalina Island in the back is roamed by all free-range it's, bison. Yeah, it's bison. That's, it's known mm-hmm. for having bison still there. Roaming. So they killed a buffalo and then it's sell a, the motherfucker? It's, it's a cafe in the top of Catalina Island yeah. where, the, where the planes land. I'm going to go to Catalina one day. I was just in Catalina. Mm-hmm. It's nice. Yeah. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's just small as fuck. Unless you go to the other side and you scuba dive. It's beautiful back there. You but would think you shit, were in. Them Lama. houses, them motherfuckers yeah. is tiny. Mm-hmm. It's like Hobbit. But that glass build. bottom boat, if you want to go snorkeling without snorkeling, go take the glass bottom boat ride. That's dope, dude. Hey, so uh, we finna wrap this shit up. <laughs> He was naming foods and shit. He <laughs> got a motherfucking funky ass <laughs> tamale feet in this motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> stubby ass. No, they are me. not stubby. <laughs> Somebody asked to see your feet? Yeah. They they is. asked to see her feet and ankles. Every she used to twerk, but then she got dignity. I did not. One time. Am I lying? One, did then she used she to twerk? One dignant. time. She was like, you know, I'm above that. I did not. I would never I say that. Never. I roller skate and post that up. You guys just don't pay attention. You twerk? What do you mean I twerk? Is that, That's what he's saying. You, what? you used to do it and you don't do it? No, no, no. Oh, I just okay. did it one time is what I'm no, saying. No, her and me used, used, used to do it no, on the show. No, we did it one time. Oh, that's right. Y'all did it. And we didn't do it yeah. for the show. Chris was filming us. We didn't do it for the show. It was I think after. we all was were over. filming. People uh, saw you, D. All right, mm. well. Couldn't move in those jeans. When you twerk, there's a specific type of all right, hey, how you guys material doing? they wear to make it look like they're doing something even more. So it like looks like it no, moves more. No, it's a material called black. No, they. If you look at it, most of them, though, they do wear patterns to actually enhance the really? movement. Oh yeah, you got life hacks for twerking. Yep, Great. they have certain nice. patterns to make it look Twerk like it's hats. really going. Anyway, no, I had two tight jeans on that day, so I, I remember that shit. Right. Tutorial right now. I say squirrel hat. jaws with hot sauce. <laughs> <He's silly. laughs> Damn, I want some ghetto ass food tonight. Mm. I'm a fi- What time Roscoe's close? Yeah. <sighs> I want you, some if you, if you want to still pluck your feathers off shit. the chicken. I want some. <laughs> want I want some. I ain't got no business shit. eating that shit. Yeah. shit. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling those those foot things. Foot high blood pressure type shit. Right. <laughs> shit, you feed the dog. He don't bark at people no more. He just be like, uh oh, not the old dog. No, that is the old dog. We need it. We need it. We need it. Do it, Corey. Because you know what? When you get them stones out, we're diabetes dog. You're not gonna be able to do the old dog. I got to pee again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, look. A diabetic dog. He ain't going to sound the same. You. My feet hurt when I run. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that cat. I ain't thinking about that cat. No sugar high. Y'all give me a peppermint. <laughs> give me a peppermint. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ask for a peppermint. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, God. Somebody say kidney stone soup. Fuck we already did. Kwame oh, Shabazz. We spoke shit, about that. Damn. They went they after you. Like, ah, hey, man. And you know what, man? I'm with it. I love it. I Look, I'm so happy I'm finna be fixed. Right. God damn it. I, I'm sick of this pain. Watch this shit. Oh. Oh. No. Uh-oh. I'm off them motherfucking uh, pain pills. I'm off that shit. Oh, you got on the little What, what kind of you say? I was on OPR. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm yeah. moving back to Chicago. Uh-oh. I caught my girl fucking too many people. <laughs> oh, I can't keep taking up do, for her. What you think she going to do when you go to Chicago, though? Who going to scoop Kim? That means she ain't got to hide no more. She's going to be like, oh, damn, I don't even feel right. I ain't got to hide. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I could just do it. No, can you imagine the home they're probably going to have in Chicago? You won't be able to... I don't think she's going to Chicago. It's, she it's ain't going to motherfucking Chicago. There's too many real people in Chicago. Right. They, if they live downtown or something, like in a penthouse. Will her That's mother let her right. go? Her, How about that, Zoe? Her mother's idea. It's, the, it's a PR thing. There you go. She Thank you. Let's film the show from Chicago. Kanye, you moved to Chicago. That way you ain't have to... You can fuck it's with those just guys, another you know. plot line. It's a plot line. Look, look. She's not happy about moving to Chicago. That's a good one. Did you see right, she said right. she didn't like her ass? Like, Hell no! You, 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 have you show. ever seen her hips when she got she she? But she don't take the bitches with them hips show. 
Mm. I seen it. Ugh, that no. bitch looked like a, a a doll that you had the cigarette lighter to, and the you know, plastic melted a little God bit. God dang it! Mm. Doll has been left in the car. Right, too much. unvoluptuous oh. in real life ass. Mm. That's what Ooh. she got. When she got them clothes on to hide it, you can't tell that ass look good. But when you That's take why that shit off, to Chicago gets mm. real. Right. Mm -hmm. He needs a bitch who got who mama got sugar. Mm. Right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what's the fuck? What what's the name of that movie? It was just one movie where the people had the legs like grasshoppers and shit. What? The legs were like grasshoppers. Oh, yeah, they used to jump. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I think Charlie Sheen was what in was that. that shit? <laughs> and their legs bent backwards. And <laughs> what? <laughs> legs <laughs> bent up and then they jump high. Charlie, what what grasshopper legs? What? What the hell? Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm glad somebody know what I'm talking about. Somebody gonna figure it out. I know what you're talking about. They legs bent backwards. And they. <laughs> they was aliens? Yeah, it was some alien <laughs> shit. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what, you know, <laughs> Somebody in there know. Fried <laughs> deer tongue. Infinity, Infinity kidney <laughs> stone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> arrival? No, it wasn't arrival. No. I think that was it. Was arrival. It? No. When they came. That wasn't it? Uh uh. Fried rhino. Uh. <laughs> Elephant ass and cake and water. See, somebody else remember that shit too. I remember that. Too. that, they was, that? it was like yeah. an alien moving right. in. Where they jump out. backwards. That one dude was running. It was a black dude. They the arrival. Somebody says the arrival. Mm. I don't know what's the contact. No. Ah. Oh, see. So, 1996. The God arrival. Dang these niggas. These the niggas ain't got the, shit to do. The brother we just didn't know good <laughs> enough. To let him on the air yet, maybe next time. Oh. <laughs> he gave us the info, goddammit. <laughs> Give him a shout out. What's Mark Morrow, what's happening? Mark Morrow? Okay. Mark Morrow, what Mark up, Morrow. Morrow. What's your Instagram? At Martin and Morrow. At Martin and Morrow. Yeah. Martin and Morrow. That's his real voice. Frank don't like his voice. What the fuck is that guy talking like that for? <laughs> Stop. I'm the he's got bass with He's it. a four eyes like me. And he's got, he wear glasses. Yes. Ronnie, them ain't prescription. Them shades, right? Oh, these prescription, bro. See, hello. Oh, I just wear, my daddy used to wear these. I like that's what I, I like, like those. What are those, gazelles? Y'all no, got the same like prescription? Oh, they look nice. <laughs> what is it? I was like, is he his dad? I think everybody in here wear glasses. Bobby, you don't wear glasses. He's just no, not just owning up to it. Just reading glasses. Well, you wear glasses See, then. He's not owning right. up to it, though. Yeah, when I'm reading. Motherfucker say, oh, my mother just reading glasses. <laughs> got cake and water in them. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, you wear glasses? Uh, no. Not uh, yet. I don't. Mm, that means he don't living. put them he on. don't know yet. Yeah. Uh, I was I giving him. I got that way, sir. Oh, see, so yeah, uh, laser. Yeah. Uh, that means he wore glasses. It's gonna leave, yeah, right? One thing with the laser, everybody know got laser. Got some other glasses to read. He's had his, he's, he's had his eyeballs stimulated. Mine That's went. Right. I had LASIK twenty years ago. And everybody worry about that. But look here, what I'm trying you to say. What? No, I'm fucking with you, dude. It's all good. Okay, all right, Stony. <laughs> Stony. <laughs> oh. Stony Jackson. Stony Jackson. <laughs> no. <laughs> From 227? D is not yeah. having it in this what? bitch right but now. Come Monday, he'll be She's been free. thinking of that is since no, the Bram Stroker joke. No, it just came to me right now. Whole so heap of. Whole heap of. Whole heap of. your stripper you name. You had to bring that back. Okay. Whole yep. heap of. But come Monday, he gonna be stoneless. And Stony Jackson. He gonna be stoneless. Monday, I'm gonna be in a fucking hospital sleep. God damn it. <laughs> that nigga stab me to death. <laughs> 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 I hope they you keep you here them. with the whole hospital shit on the other way. Wow. When I was in Nashville, Bobby kept coming in the room. You should drink some cake and water. It'll get them toned oh, right God. about you. <laughs> right about you, right there. Just drink this <laughs> gallon of water that I'm about to give you. And I this, got witnesses. This old couch leg. Uh, this nigga. What's in Cajun water? Cajun water. Cajun water. I'm gonna run up Cajun bitch. Right. It's, it's over. Say Cajun water. No, I'm gonna leave my nigga. Cajun water. What's this? What's this order. barbecue Cajun water you talking about, Bobby? Okay. <laughs> we gotta wrap this shit up. Yeah, yeah. Fifty-one motherfucking fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, can I tell them to watch my show tomorrow? Oh, yes, come on, right? Please watch Bossip on WeTV tomorrow, and I got a I'm on True TV tomorrow on Lab Tracks, nice. and on Friday I got a special coming out on Stars. Right on, come on. Right. Improv, yes sir. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. What's the date? The 19th, isn't it? The 19th. Yeah. Brea Improv. How many shows? Detroit. Y'all know I'm in town Saturday. We're going to tear that motherfucker up. Mm. Me, Lil Duval, Michael Blackson. Uh, 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 what's the other dude from um, uh, Atlanta name? The brother. DC, that, DC the Pro. internet. The internet style. DC he don't Pro. curse. They say he don't curse. What? 
Wayne. Country no. Wayne. Country oh. Wayne, yeah. Country Wayne. We got, we, got, we got a deep show. There's a lot of motherfuckers. What time is your show tomorrow night? Uh, I would imagine 8 o'clock. In 8 Brand. o'clock. One show. Yeah. Jeez. All right, so I'm going to get at y'all, man. We up out this bitch. Your Ooh, mama man. kept you due to peer pressure. <laughs>